So I did a video that said, if we don't love ourselves, how can we love our neighbor? And I got some comments that saddened me because many of the people out there feel just like me. And I questioned myself and I asked myself, if I love myself, why am I doing things that hurt me? That makes no sense. I must not truly love myself, right? And if I don't love myself, how can I love my neighbor? I want to bring you to Matthew twenty-two thirty-seven. 37. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Right? And so... In order for us to truly love others, we have to love ourselves. And, you know, I think of people who have diabetes and they love soft drinks and sweet cakes. Or they may have cirrhosis of the liver and they can't stop drinking. Or maybe you have some kind of affliction like high blood pressure caused by salty foods, right? Not the kind that's uh, hereditary, but the kind that's self-induced, right? And so when we do things, drinking and driving, you know, putting ourselves at risk, we're not loving ourselves. And I bring you to uh, 2 Timothy. Uh, and this talks about in the last times, people being lovers of self, right? And it's at uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. This know also, that in the last days, perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heedy, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. Now, in that men shall be lovers of self, you didn't hear anything about cutting yourself, uh, you know, committing suicide or anything like that. And, you know, in my children's school, the young kids are already, you know, self-sabotage. You know, they're doing terrible things to themselves. I went to a movie, a child's movie. And before the movie started, it was something about suicide prevention. And I thought, oh my, this is wild. The kids, though, the self-hatred is, is deep. You know, as it said in the last days, that men would be lovers of self, meaning conceited. But people have taken that extreme to the other end and became self-haters, right? And I bring you to Joshua, right? Where the Lord told us to be of good courage. Can't move too fast. Have not I commanded thee, be strong, and of, uh, and of, let me start that over. Have I not commanded thee, be strong, and of a good courage, be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest, right? Be strong, of a good courage, and don't be dismayed, meaning, you know, you know, don't, don't be fearful and lacking self-confidence. And when you're dismayed, you, you just don't want to live. And that's not what the Lord God wants for us, right? And so the Lord Jesus, bring you the loop. See, the Lord Jesus is here to heal our broken hearts, right? Bear with me for just a second while I get to the page. I had it all marked off for you, but I can't move too fast. 
See, the Lord Jesus said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He had sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. So the Lord Jesus will heal your broken heart. And if your heart is broken, it is truly hard for you to love yourself. I can remember at times going through hard things and I did things that I didn't want anybody that loved me to see. Because they would say, what are you doing? You're going to kill yourself doing something like that, you know? And so a broken heart will cause you to act in such a way that you don't want to live. So in order to enjoy life, let the Lord raise you from your grave as he had said he would do, right? And give you life, salvation. The Lord Jesus is the life, the truth, the way, you see? And you are important. You are valuable, right? In the scriptures, it says, behold, and this is Matthew 6, 26. I don't know if I gave you the verse on the other one. I apologize if I didn't. Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? You see? So you are of value. The Lord Jesus said that you the light of the world. So you can't walk around not appreciating your life and finding value in yourself. Because if you don't find value in yourself. It's going to be hard for you to find value in others. This is uh, Matthew 10, 29. Are not two sparrows sold for a farting? And one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father. But the very hairs on your head are all numbered. Fear ye not, therefore. Ye are of more value than many sparrows. Right? And I really, truly want you to value yourself. I'm not saying go out and be conceited to think of yourself as more than others. But value yourself. You got to do that. You, I, I mean, humility is a gift from God. The Lord wants us to be humble so that he can exalt us, meaning that he will raise us up and glorify us. We don't have to do that ourselves. But the opposite of being conceited is self-hate. And in the scriptures, the men of God were humble, but not self-haters, men and women. This applies to both. And so I beseech you, beloved, because I had many people in the congregation speak on self-hate. And we should hate the evil within us. But all of us, right? I mean, you, you hear people say all of us is evil. But if the spirit of the Lord dwells within us, it is not evil. Our flesh can be evil. But again, you know, I feel in my heart that we are not meant to hate our lives, to hate ourselves. That is not what the Lord teaches us. We hate evil, love good, 